Hello you guys, it's me alone the guy 995 in the future. Now I'm gonna put in a disclaimer. You might hear my fan and some background noise in the background. Well the background noise I can't do anything about it, but for the fan, it's kinda hot out here in California, so I'm gonna have to have it on while making this tutorial video. So this is just a little heads up before you start looking at the tutorial video. Alright, now thank you for understanding. I hope this tutorial is very useful for you guys. And yeah, thank you very much for understanding. Hello you guys, what's up? It's me on the guy 995 and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install school days from just the USA if you bought it from there. Because there's no video online to teach you how to do this and I'm sad to say that if, even if you bought the game, there's no proper instructions on how to download it or there's nobody online that helped you. So if you were to say, I mean, type in on Google how to download School Days, you're mostly going to get the pirate version instructions. So I just found out a way to download the Just USA version correctly. So, if you bought the game on there, I will be showing you how to do that. But first, let me go uninstall my version of the game so I can show you how it's done. So, let me just go down here and install School Days on my end. Oh, no, that's Shiny Days. I guess I'm gonna type it in to make life easier. Install. And yes, there you go. Was removed from your computer. Now, the first thing you want to do, well, I have to show you first, is that you got to make sure you have all these files. So, if you bought School Days HQ from Just USA, you got to make sure you download all of these files here. Um, but the manual, not important, but just the installer data part one through six make sure you install all of those from just usa and then what you want to do is to create a folder so you want to create a folder make sure that those files that i mentioned are all in one folder this is very important make sure you got data one through six in the folder alongside with your setup.exe because this is very key here you gotta make sure that all of them are all in one folder like i'm gonna repeat myself one more time because it's very important because if you don't do it the installation won't work make sure all of them are all in one folder now just in case if it doesn't work go to properties i mean on the setup.exe go to properties go to properties and go to compatibility and then put run this program at administrator apply okay and then the other thing you want to do is to go i mean go in this arrow or make sure you type in your firewall and then you go to firewall and network protection hopefully you have windows 10 because it makes life easier or you could just put in the search bar to put type in firewall and then what you want to do is just click change these settings allow another app just in case in case if your firewall might be blocking the .exe file for school days and the thing you want to do is to look for the file location of your setup.exe for school days so what you want to do is to go where you save it at and then I have the .exe I mean setup.exe I already saved it already so you don't have to I mean I don't have to do that so once you add it um, next you're gonna do is run the setup process and then put yes like I said make sure everything is all in one folder you put next I accept the agreement create desktop icon and then put install and boom there you go you're not gonna get an error saying please insert disk one now what's key here like I said is probably having firewall like having school days on your firewall so your firewall won't block it it's either that or you just need to make sure all of them is in one folder again this is for school days if you bought it from just.usa now 
The install should have finally finished. So when it's done, click finish. And then if you did click on the, um, put it on the um, desktop, create a desktop shortcut, you should see it here. But I'm not gonna keep it here, but let's just open it up anyway. And there you go. School days, it's working. Now, notice how it says version.00. If you click start, the game might freeze. So what I recommend you is that you go on the game page. Um, let me see. School days. You go to the game page and there should be an installer. I don't know. I think Shiny Days has it. But I don't know, but um, there should be a way to update the game. If your game does froze, yeah, so make sure you look for an update to, to get that in. And I do recommend um, that you do not put this game on full screen because most likely your game will fr froze. Like, will most likely will froze. Now, try to prevent on putting it on full screen. Make sure you always keep it on window because for some reason, shiny days and school days when you put on full screen your um, whole game will froze regardless where you're at it's always gonna freeze so just keep it like this the best way you can and then yeah that's it um, if you have any other trouble um, make sure you tell me what what's your problem in the comments below um, yeah this is just a tutorial on how to download school days if you bought it on just the USA Com. Again, I don't support the pirate version. I mean, I watched the anime. I was interested in the series, and I heard that the visual novel had more to offer. So I went to, went ahead and bought the visual novel, and I wanted to see. And then my best girl over here is Coach Noha, so I wanted to see more of her. And I was kind of sad how um, how she was treated in this anime. So I wanted to do her justice by going through her role in school days. So if you're a fan, if you're a fan of Kotonoha, hey, I congratulate you. Now you can finally be able to. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling on. <laughs> anyway, this is Lonely God 995. You guys have a great day.